I did it again. About a year ago, I made a video based on this rare series of Mario plushies that you seriously cannot get any information on. There was very little information on the manufacturer alone and nothing on how popular this toy was or how it was distributed. The only real information that I had from looking up the obvious signs from the box were that this guy was part of a 3 plush set called the Color Me Mario series produced by Alps Shoji. With multiple instances from other users posting the only known commercial for this set, artwork from the boxes, and of course some reviews on these plushies, I think I've become one of the crazy collectors that has been searching for every single plush from this series. I've seriously searched days, weeks, and even months in order to get my hands on a complete set. So let's start with Mario. My first attraction to these moldy plushies started when I was searching the internet and managed to find a listing of what seemed to have been a pretty rare and obscure plush. I managed to send an offer that the seller would accept and soon I would have my hands on just the first step of my journey. Although the box was a little beat up, the colors are very sun faded, and Mario is a little bit lopsided. This didn't stop me from trying to find out more about this series. So some context behind these little stuffies I think you should know are, number one, these things are kind of rare to come by. And number two, because they're kind of rare to come by, the amount of money that they're being sold for can range highly. In my last video, I think I talked about how the Princess Peach plush was going for a lot of money because I don't think I had seen a recent listing from her. So the next step in this journey was truly surprising to me. Literally a month later in October of 2022 a Yoshi listing popped up and although I didn't really have the money to be throwing around on some 30 year old plushies I caved in because the price he was listed at was insane. The total amount I spent on this loose Color Me Mario Alps Narinko Yoshi plush was $88.97. One major thing that I should mention is the reason that I jumped so fast on this Yoshi listing was because it was being sold by a US seller. Now allow me to let you in on a little secret that I should be keeping to myself. A lot of times when a Japanese item comes up on eBay, and if it's a rare one in this case, what the seller will try to do is make a listing for this item and price it at a total amount that gives them enough to profit off of it. In short, they're just acting as the middleman to get this product to you. To be honest, I started to get really tired of checking eBay and having notifications on for this plushie set, so I set my eyes onto a new target. I would become the middleman for myself. About a year later, I would get a notification from eBay saying that there was a new listing for my Alps Narinko Color Me Mario alert that I had set up. Now, after learning about that little secret I just told you, I took it upon myself to enter the amazing world known as Bai. The way Bayi works is pretty simple. You have the ability to buy items off of Japanese auction sites that if you win, the seller ships off your item to a warehouse where the item is held until you're ready to have it shipped all the way to wherever you may be in the world. One thing about this site is that you can get some really cool stuff for almost half the price. But sometimes it does balance out as shipping for these items can sometimes cost more than $50 for one little purchase. After checking out the eBay listing, I went straight to Bayi to see if I could find the same listing. And sure enough, I saw not just one, but two of the Color Me Mario plushies that I already owned. The thing about these though, was that they were both complete in box. And both boxes having a great deal of color on them. Yeah, at this point, I even realized that my old Mario box was very sun faded. And so looking at this new box was truly a beauty. I now held the responsibility of waking up at 4am to bid on this site in order to secure these two beautiful plushies. A couple more dollar bills being taken from my credit card and me waiting another week, I officially secured these two amazing moldy plushies. I thought it'd be nice to kind of compare these plushies to my old ones, but there's still one more that I need to talk about. And there must be something magical about buying plushies at the end of the year, because once again, about a month after purchasing these two complete in box Mario and Yoshi plushies, a loose Princess Peach was listed. If you were to put these three on a tier list of how rare they come up for auction, Mario would be third, Yoshi would be second, and Princess Peach would be first. What I didn't tell you was that I actually missed out on a previous listing about 6 months prior to this, all because I didn't want to spend $500 on a single plush. And sure enough, she pops up on Reddit from a very joyous and ecstatic user. Which, if you're watching this, hey, congratulations on living my dream. You will pay. After missing my shot with a complete inbox Princess Peach, I knew I had to pull the trigger no matter what on a loose Princess Peach. 
So, I was back on the mission to wake up at 5 in the morning on a Saturday just to throw my bid in. And once again, I achieved it. Like nothing. It was easy. I was the only one, literally. <laughs> Here is my Alps Norinko Color Me Mario Princess Peach Plush. Now, let's compare all three of these plushies together. Okay, so this part is not in my script, but as I was getting ready to compare each of the plushies together, I started to take the Yoshi out of the box when I noticed that this pipe cleaner string type thing is completely wrapped around the Yoshi plush. So I don't know if this thing was just in really great condition or it was never taken out of the box. And now that I'm looking at it as well, the crayons on the inside have tape holding them down. And let me show you something real quick. This is the first Yoshi that I bought. Now let me compare it to the second Yoshi that I bought. This guy is way more chunkier. <laughs> So this is the first Mario that I bought, a little lopsided like I said, and this is the second Mario that I bought. Once again, the newer plushies feel way more firm than the old ones. Look how much pride he has standing too, that's insane. Okay, back to the video. If we set them all side by side, we can see that there's so much detail put into every single one of these plushies. Right, so I think the cool... <laughs> Right, so I think the coolest thing about each character is the fact that they actually have some sort of representation of who they are. For instance, each character not only has a unique plastic piece to them, but they also have an attached piece of fabric with specific colors. Mario has three plastic pieces on him. His blue eyes, the emblem on his hat with a red M on it, and his yellow overall buttons. His mustache is the only thing that's colored on him. Yoshi has only one plastic piece on him being his eyes, with his eyelids being green. And the only colored piece on him is his back spine, which funny enough is red here, but in the actual Super Mario World game, it's orange. As for Princess Peach, she's way different than the others and has six plastic pieces on her. She has blue eyes with winged mascara, her little yellow and blue crest piece on her dress, her lips with pink lipstick, Hidden behind her head are her blue earrings, and what I think is the coolest thing out of all of them is her crown. This thing is actually attached by a string and has four little jewels on it. Next, let's look at the boxes, because although I showed Mario's box in the last video, there's actually some different artwork on the other two. Yoshi's box has his entire body on the front, a backside view of him on the left, a front side view of him on the right, and on the back the instructions to play with this plush are depicted with Yoshi instead. Sadly, I don't have the Princess Peach box, but once again, much like Yoshi's and Mario's, there's Princess Peach on the front, a backside view of her on the left, a frontside view of her on the right, and on the back, the same instructions except we get these cute Princess Peach illustrations instead. Although this journey is not entirely complete, I'm still so happy that I managed to obtain every single plushie in this set. And if you think the journey is over because I don't have a complete in box Princess Peach, just know when the time comes, I'm spending everything I got to complete this set. Bye!